I gotta be honest with you, the possibilities are endless. Let's take a look. So I hope you haven't forgotten. <laughs> Just here, in the land of the free, alone. Yes, my dear friends, this is the U.S. national debt clock. We're sitting at $21 trillion of deficit U.S. national debt. So is that money possible? Now, are you getting close to seeing the unfunded liabilities, national assets, all of the, are you seeing the circulation of a U.S. dollar now? And now we take a look at the value and all that stuff. Well, let's be crazy again. Let's pull out this fancy calculator and let's just pretend that we bought Bitcoin with with the current U.S. national debt, so we put 21 trillion, 161 billion, 435 million. We call it 500 thousand by the time I'm finished writing this, and then three zeros after that. And then we divide this by 183 billion, 862 million, 718 thousand, 465. $115, my dear friends. The U.S. national deficit can make Bitcoin's price alone $115 a pop. I'm just talking about the revelation that I had was just $20. I'm not $115. I'll just take this with a grain of salt, even though the numbers don't lie. So these are just the possibilities. And this, I'm just talking about U.S. dollars. I'm not talking about any other currency in any of the other countries. Possibilities, endless. So don't give me this. Bitcoin can never get up there. You should be absolutely grateful for a half a penny Bitcoin. So yeah, that was the US national debt. Just a glimpse of the possibilities in one country. Now, if that focus were to change and money were to somehow go into Bitcoin, we might be looking good. Why would you why would anybody look into Bitcoin? Well, if we take a look at the cryptocurrency market's top player, Bitcoin, and we compare this because it's a cryptocurrency and we're trying to compare apples to apples as, as much as we can. Even though this comparison is already not fair, let's take a look. We have a public versus private you can take a look at everybody's wallet and their transactions and their amount in their wallet with Bitcoin with Bitcoin you cannot with Bitcoin you can trace it with Bitcoin you cannot with Bitcoin this these are numbers I've gotten off of the World Wide Web Whether or not these are true, in my case, they were not. I've waited for hours for my Bitcoin to arrive. I don't care what the, the background situation is, regardless. This is my currency. This is my money. So when I'm sending it, especially when you call it a cryptocurrency, I expect that thing to be immediate. And with Bitcoin, I, I swear to you, I've made transactions they have gotten in my wallet so quick I literally physically had to do a double take because I did not believe that the transaction could have happened so quickly 
granted it was not involving any exchange it was from a wallet to a wallet but it was I instantaneous I think I blinked and I looked over to the other screen and it was already there R ridiculous so not even two minutes but sometimes I have waited two minutes pseudo anonymous versus anonymous I don't even want to go into the length of the physical length of your public and private address this is all the truth you need to see but pseudo anonymous you truly you, you get to see the receiving address and you can also get to see the other addresses that were associated with it so ultimately it's not something that did not leave any trace it did so pseudo anonymous is what kind of Bitcoin is true anonymity is you mixing up the addresses of everybody involved and people not even involved and you never know and of course it boils down to the price I don't even need to talk about the price I think it's pretty self-explanatory on that one <clears throat> In conclusion, there's a lot of things to conclude actually and this is advice coming from me to you my friends. Take it or leave it regardless I want to I wanna make sure that I get it across. Starting today, nobody should be losing money in the crypto game and that is as long as you do not sell do not fear do not just do not sell once you have if you have seen your coins be worth a lot of money what makes you think that they will never be worth the same amount once they go down in value in cryptocurrencies prices will only go up should you have invested in the right projects so do not sell just accumulate and recognize when the market is suitable which kind of leads into the second point which is you shouldn't be scared when the market moves the market is your friend if this is what you like to do if you like money and this is how you get your money why would you feel bad about it why would you want to feel any negative emotion about it what I'm trying to say is you're going into this and if you don't understand that in life everything that goes up must come down then you have different things that you need to learn before you go into blowing your life savings away so once you go in with the idea that let's say this can possibly be all lost and you go in and you know that things go up and things come down then it's all a matter of capitalizing when it's very cheap to you to buy something which is usually when the price goes down and taking your profit whenever the price goes up in both situations one can be capitalizing for the betterment of their portfolio so th times are never bad in a market in every single recession people become millionaires some do most don't because most people don't care about financial stuff okay well you snooze you lose information is power so you shouldn't panic remember what you invested in so just because the price didn't it went down and the, the cost of it went down does not mean the value of it went down it's still the same coin as it was yesterday hope depending on the news of course for the most part, if anything, things got better, technologically speaking. Look at volume. Look at what where the money is going. You look at the daily volume altogether of $26 billion. And maybe people on a bad day, this is how they're feeling and that's how much money is going into this. I don't know if this thing is quite fake. 
things to consider. And it's also highly unlikely that cryptos will reverse and never recover. I highly doubt that it's just going to stop and one day it's not going to go back up. It could go it could go like this for a while. Like it did I think 2015, 2016, then it started to pick up. But that's all you get, 24 months. And then we're right back at it. 7 to 70,000 percent gain. Ridiculous. And where focus goes, energy flows. Remember, does not matter what the supply is, it matters do people know about this, do are people investing into this. And as long as they realize that they will never lose money unless they sell their positions, they sell what was once valuable. If you sell that, then yes, you have lost money. I have lost money. But that is the only time I have lost, and that is when I sold. I've been winning ever since because I never sell. I learned my lesson once, and that is it. So, smart people learn from their mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. This is why I'm here, my friends. And, last but not least, I want to thank you so much for sticking around a lot of things were mentioned and also for everybody who has stuck around for 23 minutes you are the best and I have great news for you Bitcoin Guru is now going to be on Patreon if you don't know what Patreon is it's a very unique way to get everything that you're looking for for any type of topic in this case it would be me giving you guys the quickest latest and greatest of news what I want to provide for you guys is the ability to have a custom based news edition for you so you get to learn about Bitcoin whichever way you want so comment in the section below and tell me what kind of things you would like to see I will post the link in the description below of Patreon so you guys will have a better idea. And I will definitely be making another video on this. But for right now, just introduction and making sure that you guys know ahead of time. Because there's going to be a lot of exclusive stuff happening on Patreon. And uh, maybe even a merch shop. You never know. Alright, my dear friends. I'll catch you in the next one. And uh, as always, to the moon.